Hey girl, how you doing? It's so good, sis Mellow. Yellow. My name's not Mellow Yellow, I was just saying like my name is Mellow and Yellow. Like that's how I say hey, yellow. But um, so yeah. This topic is gonna be about sis. An ass will not make you, okay? Because it's just like I'm really tired of seeing like this ass revolved society that we're in. It's really sickening and disgusting. The male gaze, I'm over it, to be honest. Over it, okay? But this is for you, sis. This is this is for the sis who feel like my ass makes me. This is for the sis who feels like if I don't have an ass, I'm not attractive. People won't like me. I won't look good in my clothes. This is for the sis who is breaking her motherfucking back and her psyche to to get her a new ass, you know what I'm saying? It's really because society has made us feel like if we don't have a big booty, then we don't have shit to offer. And that's a bullshit ass lie, sis. You, your first picture do not have to be your ass showing to the world. Because first off, we know you got a big booty. <laughs> so you ain't got to show us every picture that you got a big booty. To be honest. Motherfucking mosquitoes is trying to try me. And I ain't got time for it. I ain't got time for it. But yeah. And it's just like the society that we're in is such like an ass worshipping, ass fetish ass society where it's just like, it's normal. It's normal that ass is in our face 24-7 and it's really crazy and beyond beyond me <laughs> that this nigga cutting grass while I'm recording my motherfucking video. <laughs> but no, um, it's beyond me that even other women would like applaud women and like make it seem like she's the highest of the high just because she got a big booty and it's just like i mean y'all know what the fuck i'm talking about y'all know the pictures where it's like it's just ass the picture is an ass focused picture and people be like yes queen oh my god goddess like like you, you know what the fuck I'm talking about and for me personally somebody who is outside of the matrix somebody who just who just vibrating just a little bit higher um I'm just like hmm sis you're more than your ass and like these people are crazy as hell for making this seem like that you're only the shit because you have a big ass. That's weird. It's weird. It's weird. <laughs> like, I really want people to understand how weird this ass fetish shit is. And how much it has impacted women. Black women, specifically. Um, it has impact the other but I don't give a fuck about other because look at my black ass but it's impacting women in general and the minds of little girls um and the minds of little boys because the problem that we're seeing now is that little boys are gonna feel like women are supposed to look a certain way and if they don't they're gonna probably treat them a certain way little girls are going to grow up thinking that their bodies are supposed to be a certain way and if it doesn't end up like that then she's going to feel insecure she's going to be doubting herself it's, it's going to be a lot of issues and she's more than likely going to try to do something to her body that'll make her feel better about herself or to make her more appealing to the fucking male gaze women my age are going to get their bodies worked on without even letting their body continue their fucking puberty stage. 
literally girls younger than me going to get their bodies worked on without them finishing the stages of puberty 18 19 and 26 you're literally you're not done growing yet i don't even fuck what they're saying like your body is not like give yourself some time <laughs> give yourself a chance literally just give yourself a fucking chance but it's like fucking social media and the TVs have just diseased and affected our fucking minds so much where it's like it's really having women think that this is what I'm supposed to look like and if I don't something's wrong with me keeping these fucking white surgeons rich as hell fuck y'all y'all got me fucked up y'all ain't never getting my money fuck you seen alright fuck cause look at me God created a beautiful goddess you hear me hmm but yeah, like, women older than me are seeing young women, <laughs> they feeling intimidated, they feeling insecure and shit. So what they go do? You got these old ass ladies, 15, 60 year old, not getting they, getting they BBL. Now I'm not saying this to shame anybody, I'm not saying this to make nobody feel bad, I'm not saying this to deter nobody from a surgery, but what I'm saying is, look at the effects of society and realize that the way you feel about yourself ain't all you and how you feel about yourself but what society has constantly threw down your fucking throat this image that, that made you feel like this is the ideal image of what we are supposed to look like we're supposed to have a big ass butt some big ass thighs little ass waist a flat ass stomach some big ass titties unfucking plug from this bullshit that they're trying to feed you because you need to at least give your body a chance give yourself a chance work on loving yourself like people try to shame other people for you know try to send the message out of saying like you don't have to get a bill well i don't give a fuck what the mother what a motherfucker i say about this video or what a motherfucker i say about me because i'm gonna stand on my shit and i i feel how i feel i personally don't like to see my sisters constantly going to get this bullshit injected in their body and then years later for some of them not even years later the fucking organs are failing and shit they got dead ass body parts and shit they got shit that them busted up in their body they're finding out what they thought was putting their bodies not the real thing it's just all types of shit and it's just like this shit been going on for over 20 years now so it's just like what the fuck else needs to happen who else needs to die who else needs to get an infection who else needs to go back into surgery get this shit taken out of their body for women to understand for women to see that this may not be a great thing <laughs> for somebody to be playing god on my body that's all i'm saying um i mean i know loving yourself is not an easy thing and i know loving yourself is better said than done but You wish yourself 24 fucking 7. So it's like, why not try? <laughs> why not? Why not? Like, why not work on it? Why not rewire your brain to affirm yourself and your body and your feelings and your experiences? Why not work on it? Why not tell yourself? Why not just work on it? I mean, I don't know. Like, <sighs> I get it to a certain extent on why women feel away and why women want to go get things done to their bodies to make themselves feel better about themselves but at the same time for me personally that's not something I want to do and that's not something I would want the people that I care about to do it's not something I would want I, I want my black women to do in general but obviously I can't stop nobody from doing shit so I can just be a messenger and deliver message from source um, just by saying we all need to work on loving ourselves more and accepting ourselves for who we really are 
extending ourselves some grace and accepting the fact that we're not fucking perfect but that's okay <laughs> it's literally okay and i mean yes the universe did uh, give us individual like decision and like the option to choose but that doesn't necessarily mean like altering something such as your body for a cosmetic appeal by cosmetic I mean something that's not a necessity something that's not necessary um cause like for trans people um let's say like a top removal that would be something that would be necessary for them because for a lot of them that would be like life um life threatening or however you want to call it um but I'm saying something as something as such as like getting a fucking big ass and well, first off, ask yourself, why do you want a big ass? Why do I want a bigger ass? Why do I want a big ass? Why do I want a big titties? Why do Why do I want it? What? It, like, at what point in my life that like the fucking light bulb went off? It's like I want a big ass, and I want to get shit injected into my body to make my ass bigger. What went off in your head? At what moment it was like this is what I need to do for me to make me feel better about myself? And not even what, but who. Who? Ask yourself that. Run that shit by yourself. Who? Who made me feel like this? Mm. Yeah, that's some deep shit. Because I just, this shit was deep for me. I had to just process, process this shit myself. Like, damn. Who? Because <laughs> I know for me, like, I mean, society. But, like, certain men, you know, telling me, like, oh, your booty little, little booty, the matter, blah, blah, blah. Or, or, like, the time where I was losing weight, and I was losing weight because I was sick. I was depressed. And I was, like, I had went from 188, and, like, during the summer, I was just literally dropping pounds. I had dropped over 50 pounds within three months. And so, at this point, I was probably, like, I went from 188. At this point, I was probably in the 130s. And I remember this guy saying, like, damn, you left your booty at home, didn't it? Now, okay, that was funny. Yeah, but, but, you saying that made me feel bad about myself in the moment. Especially since I was already feeling bad because I was losing weight because I was depressed and I couldn't fucking eat and I couldn't keep shit down. So I'm already feeling insecure about myself because I'm like, damn, I'm skinny as hell. I ain't got no booty. <laughs> so it's just like, you know, but it, why was I thinking about having some fucking ass when I'm fucking depressed when I could barely keep myself up? And then him saying that shit just made me feel worse in the moment. But after that moment, me thinking like, oh, I need to go work out so I can, you know, make my butt bigger and all that stuff. And then me looking back like, I only feel like that because he said something like, yes, I was feeling insecure about myself in the moment, but I wasn't that wasn't my focus and now I'm only focused on it because he said something because he brought attention to it how you feel about my butt ain't got nothing to do with me <laughs> my butt on my body ain't got nothing to do with you and it's just that on it so I really would like us to, to move past this whole being stuck and stagnant in these niggas male gazes because honestly for me I moved out of the male gaze I mean obviously you can't you can't help but to be in the male gaze because it's women and then there's men so there's gonna be men gays get women <laughs> looking at our womenly sensual part but 
even though that happens, you can choose not to give a fuck. You can choose not to feed into the male gaze. You can choose to accept who you are uh, fully, wholly. You can accept your body. <laughs> you can learn how to love yourself. You can apologize to yourself for mistreating yourself so far. And you can still progress and you can still learn how to love yourself and how to be in the moment, how to be appreciative for who you are and what you are. And that was a word. Okay. You. So, I think that was a lovely discussion that we just had. And, um, yeah, I hope to see you guys back soon. And, um, yeah, go be some bad bitches. But, like, in a good way, though. <laughs> Bye.